Welcome to Latest World News. Embarrassed, error strewn and slain by a player who was in a wheelchair a month ago, England are deservedly on the brink of eviction from the Epic World Cup. Chastened, crushed and ultimately devoid of ideas and hopes, Roy Hodgson still argued he was the man to lead England to Euro 2016. I don't have any intention of resigning, he said at the end of a desperate evening. They think it's all over. Not quite. Italian wins against Costa Rica and Uruguay and a 2-0 England success over Costa Rica in Bella Horizonte sends Hodgson's team through but this resembles an exercise in straw clutching. On this evidence England did not merit a place in the knockout stage. They are capable of excellence but never sustained. Hodgson's team had some good moments in Arena Corinthians particularly the wonderful move between Daniel Sturridge and Glenn Johnson that led to Wayne Rooney's 40th international goal, a simple finish but one that silenced his critics. It is hard to heap too much blame on Hodgson, a decent manager but a rung below the elite level. He is still the best option, assuming the Football Association is still sticking to its aim that the England manager should be English. Gareth Southgate is too inexperienced although probably Hodgson's long-term successor. Unless the FAX, it is Hodgson who will start the rebuilding job as England's thoughts turn to France, continuing his contract that runs until 2016.